Cinematically Correct presents Missed Opportunities in Zombieland Double Tap. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Shay. I'm Tyler. And this is Cinematically Correct. Uh, we do a movie podcast and we're trying out a new thing. Yeah. Still working on the format here, but today we're doing Missed Opportunities in Zombieland. And also, we have a beer to show you guys. We're going to show this to you at the end of the video, but I'm super excited about it because it was gifted to us by King County Brewers Collective. It is the Zombieland Double Tap Beer. The can is gorgeous. I think it's like a red beer. It's, it's awesome. So we did a review of this already on our podcast, but we're going to give you a second look today at the end of the video. So if you want to see that, stay till the end. Hey guys. Pache here, I needed to interrupt this video very quickly so I could let you in on a little secret. So right now, Tyler is in the other room, he is playing video games, waiting for me to get ready for this video. Um, while he thinks I am getting ready, I am of course already ready to go, lights are on, everything is all set up, but I have one little thing I need to do. So if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I am at Cinematically C, and this morning while Tyler was sleeping, I asked you if you would like me to prank him while doing missed opportunities this week. And the answer was a resounding yes. So if he wants to blame somebody, definitely it's you guys to blame. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I am going to swap out the beer that he is trying for this week's video and insert something else instead. So this week we were luckily gifted Zombieland Double Tap Beer from Kings County Brewer Collective. They are amazing. They are awesome. We did a review of their beer back on our podcast. Um, if you didn't listen to it, go do that. But at the end of this video, Tyler is going to be giving you a second review, a you know second look at this beer and letting you see the can, letting you see what it looks like in a glass, all of that. So I thought it would be fun to see how he would react if it didn't taste quite like he remembered. So let me show you what I'm doing. So here is what Tyler is going to be drinking. And here is what I'm going to do to try to make it look what we think it should look like. So. We have looked at the color of the beer and it's approximately a reddish color. So we're going to try to make this a reddish color. So if you can't see what it is, it is pickle juice. If you know anything about our videos or you've listened to our podcast at all, you know how much he hates this and he may recognize it right off the bat from the smell, but I'm hoping that because we were gifted this wonderful beer, he's going to try to t drink it and be nice about it regardless just to be nice, so we shall see. But anyways, let me get this done and see how it turns out. There you go. Now I will say you can smell this a lot. So he may not be fooled, but just in case you guys think I am super mean and that I'm putting something in there that he should not be having, this is what I used. So don't worry, I am not trying to hurt him. But we shall see if he notices. Hopefully he takes a sip really quickly and doesn't take doesn't notice. So I'm gonna be keeping this outside of the room where we do the missed opportunities and I won't bring it in till the end. So if you wanna see his reaction, wait till the end of this video. Make sure you check everything else out and let us know what missed opportunities you liked from the video. If you wanna see more videos like this, because I promise you, we're gonna make sure that there is a twist in every one. So enjoy and back to the video. Right. Number one. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the doppelgangers, a couple things. Uh, one, they should have had Emma Stone gaslit for the entire movie where her doppelganger is the ditzy blonde and Everyone else sees it, and except she does not understand it and drives her nuts. That would have been fantastic. That would be my nightmare, so I can only imagine. For I her. also think that they should have recast the, the, uh, the doppelganger for uh, Columbus. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse Eisenberg? Jesse Eisenberg. It should have been Michael Sarah. Uh, obviously. Even, even though I hate him, but not the point. Kind of the point. It no, would be perfect. Number two. So number two is basically all things Twinkies. So if anybody has seen the first Zombieland, if you're watching the second one, I assume you did, um, Twinkies is just missing in this no. entire movie. I mean, granted, probably because Twinkies is no longer a company, I don't think. But regardless, there was a point in the movie where they said they needed a safe word, and they said, we need a safe word for when things go bad. And the safe word needed to be Twinkies, because <laughs> Twinkies never go bad. It would have Excellent. been perfection. 
But also they just needed more Twinkies. I miss them. Number three. So this one was set up at the right, right at the opening credits where they had the multiple types of zombies. You had the, the Homer, the Hawking, the Ninja, and then the T-800. But they weren't really used at all in the movie. There was a couple moments, but it was kind of a throwaway thing where I feel like they could have added that in and made it much deeper and having to problem solve and get through the zombies that are causing problems. Yeah, they needed, they needed more of that. I mean, they had a video game vibe going on with this right. movie, and they should have had that kind of, you know, little scenes. Like, Homer is like level one, and well, just, is level two. They needed some kind of, like, something more to that, other than just mentioning it in the credits and then cutting it for the rest of the movie. Yeah, so. it yeah, they definitely missed. Uh, um, number four. So number four is, we talked about this previously in our Cabin in the Woods Missed Opportunity episode and also the podcast, but a common horror trope is the virgin never dies. So... Well, right, I mean... Well, right, so I mean, that's super common here, but there's a particular character in this movie that is, um, you see him when they go to Babylon, and he's constantly saying how you can't do group sex, but you can because he's totally down for it, and... He, he strikes me as a typical, that guy has to be a virgin type guy. Right. I know, send me hate at me, that's fine. No, he's definitely a virgin. Right. What I think would have been the best thing and a total missed opportunity would be to have him be the virgin of the movie and have some kind of thing in there where they, you know, he's like getting attacked or something and he just won't die. And they're like, what is going on? Why won't you die? And it's like, oh, I think it's probably because I'm a virgin. I just feel like that would have yeah, been hilarious and totally fit in with the vibe of this movie. All right, number five. Now this one, uh, they go to the White House and live in the White House for a while. I think it's a total missed opportunity that they didn't have a zombie president Obama. Or, or even better, a non-zombie Donald Trump living in the White House because that's the only way that he would get to become the president and the uh, whole whole fake news, zombies aren't real thing. Yes, I mean, we're probably gonna get enemies for this. Oh yeah, but, oh, totally. But absolutely needed, they needed some kind of presidential cameo. First of all, Obama would have done this. Like, yes, totally I can would. totally picture him doing a zombie yeah. cameo. And Trump, I just think, would have been the most hilarious thing. Well, you couldn't have, you couldn't have get him to do it because obviously he's making fun of him, but it would have been great. Just it to have someone doing a bad... Or Alec Baldwin as Donald Trump. Fantastic choice. Mm. You're right. welcome. Now, do I have to do it? You have to do it. So, okay. costume change. We're going to have to do just a little bit of a sneak peek of what we would have liked to see in the movie. Oh, God, I, hate you. I promise you're not going to want to miss this. <laughs> One eternity later. Fake news. There's no such thing as the zombie apocalypse. I'm the president. You have to listen to me. Yeah. I think I think you might be the next um, best Donald Trump impersonator after Alec Baldwin. Well, thank you. Uh, I also think it would have been great if they had a, a formal impeachment inquiry where they all vote him out. That would have been totally awesome. It would have been perfection. Spectacular. So also, I guess we should point five of this missed opportunity would be having Tyler play Donald Trump in the <laughs> no, White House. No one, wa no one wants that. <laughs> Everyone no, wants that. No one wants that. No. <laughs> Number six. Okay, so for the final missed opportunity in this, um, as I was saying earlier, they kind of set up a video game vibe with the whole uh, kill of the week, kill of the day, all of that type of stuff. And if they had those minor bosses along the way, one thing they absolutely needed to do was have a final zombie boss. So this movie had pretty good references. I mean, we had the Spectacular. Murray, which was, I mean, on point. So they, Bill Murray had gotten killed in the previous episode and they said he was um, murdered. Other than Beautiful. rather than murdered, it was perfection. Yeah. So references are not out for them, and I feel like at this particular moment, a T eight hundred was obviously inspired by Terminator. So why wasn't the final mob boss Arnold Schwarzenegger? Zombie boss, not mob boss. Zombie boss. Mob boss as video <laughs> games, but yes, yeah. zombie boss. So I just feel like that is the epic missed opportunity, oh, and I, I would have died for that. I am now crushed half after listening to you say that and not seeing that in the movie. Exactly. Because there were such on-point movie references and things that they threw into the movie, but come on, that's an easy one. Yeah, they, they needed to do it. So anyway, I do want to get you into your beer, so do you okay. want me to go grab it for you? 
Uh, well, I need a beer and a glass. All right, all right, all right. I will go get it. Living the dream, gentlemen. I'm never going to that one now. Wow. That I did not see. So this is Zombieland Double Tap from Kings County Brewers Collective. The can is fantastic. It's worth buying just for the can. I mean, how, how do you not love everything about that? Yeah, it is beautiful and wonderful and epic and... Yeah. And the actual beer itself is not a normal color. It's, it's a dark purple. Yeah, it's, it's strange. It's definitely weird. What'd what? you do to it? What? I didn't do anything to it. You did something. You... Okay, guys, if you didn't see our podcast, you... he said he really liked this beer, and now he's giving me a face. You did. I know what you did. What's wrong? You put pickle juice in it. No. <laughs> All right. Let's... I... Oh, yeah, this is actually drinkable. So... That's not. No, I'm not, not, not drinking any more of that. <laughs> no, you put pickle juice in this. I don't even. Why would you ruin beer? In fairness, I would never ruin beer. That is pure pickle juice. <laughs> oh. How is it? How did you get the color though? I used food covering. Oh Jesus! I'll That's go get you so... the actual glass of beer. Oh that thank I didn't God! Pour. That's so bad. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's just. Oh. I. I'm not happy with that. Like that's yeah. This is what I remember from from. It's a nice blood red color. Okay, so in fairness, he didn't know the color of the beer, which is why I was able to get away with this. No, I drank it straight from the can on the podcast because yes. that's just easier. Right, but I did want you guys to see the real color of the beer because um, it is a really cool color and it's totally different than what I am used to when I think no. of beer. And everyone the, thinks the nice golden brown color. No, that's not it, but it's it's actually very good. It's really good. And you said you were going to re-review. I did. I so gave I'm... it a 375 yes. originally on the podcast. After further review, I'm going to up it to a 4. 4 out of 5. Because it's it gets better as you go on the, on the sour. It's a fruited sour, so you have to get a little bit into the can before you finally get to the right... Mellow flavor. It's going to be pretty refreshing because tonight is a football game and you love having a beer. So I wanted to say a big thank you again to King County Brewers Collective because they did gift us this beer and it was perfect for the movie we were doing, obviously, since we're doing Zombieland Double Tap. But he also really, really enjoys it. So it really makes me happy. Oh, yeah. He's very, very picky with beer. You'll see that as we go along with this stuff because he generally doesn't like our, my choices. So Never. Under no. it. And apparently he didn't like my um, you know, pouring the can for him and everything. I was so nice, I thought. Oh. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. That's why you wanted to get it. That's the only reason. What? God. I don't know what he's referring I'm to. I'm a sucker. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, for those of you who commented me on Twitter and asked me to prank him, you're welcome. I did. I got it done. So, we have done a few pranks in the past. If you guys haven't heard about them, we usually talk about them on podcasts or show it on our social media. So, you can find us. Um, I'm at Cinematically C. He's Lane Blake Tyler. Tyler CC. He has a reason for that name. <laughs> so I do not. I have not earned that at all. <laughs> How dare you? But he has. Anyway, we will be back next week. We are going to be covering the fried green tomatoes. And we will try to make something fun with that one as well. Hopefully not as torturous as pickle juice, but... <laughs> it might be. It might be. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this. And please give us a comment below. Let us know what your favorite missed opportunity was or if you enjoyed the prank.